In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can link two Boolean expressions together to make a larger Boolean expression. And I'm going to use a username password uh, check as an example. So I'm going to say new uh, class here, Boolean demo. And we'll go in here and highlight everything, delete it. Public class Boolean demo, one, two, three. And class Boolean demo and create my main public static void main string args one two three and method main okay so i'm going to create two strings a username and password and then i'm going to check them uh, to see if they are correct and if we are correct if they match we'll log in i uh, do a little simple login type thing so it's just string uh, username equals equals new string Michael string password now we'll use an integer just to show you can they're intermix uh, password equals one two three four not a good password again but we'll use that and we'll say if now we have in order to log in both our username and password have to match so I'm going to say if, if username, remember there's a string dot equals uh, Michael, and and requires that both of these match. Password equals uh, one two three four. Notice how you use double equal sign here for an integer or a primitive, and dot equals for a string. If they both match, one two three, and if also system dot out dot print my uh, login successful. Okay, so this right here is an AND statement, and it requires that both these uh, match. Both these uh, Boolean expressions, this one and this one, are true. And if they're both true, then the whole expression is true. Everything in the parentheses is true, and therefore this line will execute. So let's close it, compile it, and let's try it out here. And log is successful because the username and password match. Now, if I change this one thing, I might just change that an L, let's say, and compile. This does not match, but this does. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see if it logs us in, and nothing happens because they both need to match. Go back in. Let's change up the L here, and take out. Let's say. Uh, oh, Two, three there. Save it. Compile it. Again, nothing happens because they both need to match. And if I go ahead and type in the correct password, so they do both match again. I think everything's good. Compile. And there it is. So uh, that's a demonstration of how to link together two um, Boolean expressions and uh, to create a larger one. There's another variation or another option you can use. There's the and, and, and there's also the or, where either one can be true, and if either one's true, then uh, we'll get a match. And I'll actually demonstrate that. You wouldn't want to do this for using a password thing, but I'll take out that. So the username matches, the password doesn't, but because it's an or, just one of them have to match, and we. Uh, should be successful here. Compile and yeah, login successful. Obviously, that's not what you want to do. You want and there, uh, but that's just the demonstration of how or works. So, a uh, demonstration of how to link together two or more um, Boolean expressions. And I have two here. And if you wanted to attach on three and four and five and six different criteria, you can.